So today I'm going to paint some cherry blossoms for you, and I already have the background done. It's just a piece of cardstock cut 4 by 6 so I can use it for a card later, and it's taped to this board. And I already got the background done, and it's nice and, well, it's, it's kind of dry to the touch, but it's not really cured yet, but that doesn't matter. You can do a whole bunch of backgrounds all at once, and then um, do paint flowers on top of it. That doesn't matter at all. So anyway... Um, I'm going to be doing cherry blossoms in the style that I call blobby flowers, and it's, I know that's a silly name, but it really does describe the technique pretty well, because you just make blobs. Seriously, it's really easy. So I'm going to show you my palette. Hopefully I'm not zoomed in too far. Um, I have a primary yellow, rose red, a phthalo turquoise white, and white, and then this is my gray that I mixed. On the monitor it looks kind of purpley, but it is, it is more gray, I think. And I just mixed these three colors together to get that gray and then a little bit of white. That's going to be my branch. And I usually use a limited palette like this. Usually it's more primary colors, um, but today I'm going to be using some off primary as my primaries. So basically I need to make my branch first. And I'm going to load up my brush and just make like a... I'm going to start in one corner and go sort of like this. And I'm just going to do a wiggly branch and make sure that I finish off skinnier than when I started. Like that. And I can put in a couple other branches. We don't really need a whole lot here because it's going to be really full of flowers and such. Okay, now I'm going to do some leaves, and the leaves are done sort of in the same sort of uh, method as the flowers, but I gotta mix my green first. So I'm gonna take the phthalo turquoise and just mix it with my yellow. Maybe add a little bit of white so it's nice and opaque. Okay, and I'm only adding leaves now because I want my flowers to cover up some leaves. And I'm just gonna dab some here and there. And I want some to be bigger than others. There, those are leaves. And this is a really quick branch. If you ever need to just draw a branch, there you go. That was like, what, three minutes? So, you know, really quick. Okay, now for the flower portion. I'm going to show you my palette again. And I'm going to load up on white really, really nice. And then I'm going to just grab a little bit of red. Okay, see that? That actually might be too much because this red's really strong. And then I'm going to just pick a spot where I want a flower, and make a blob. Sometimes you want the pink to be in the middle. And of course, you don't rinse off your brush in between when you go get more paint, so it's going to be different every single time. I think I want that a little bit more pinker. Right, see, like, literally, these are blobs. They're bulbous and undefined. That's what we want. And I'll, I'll zoom in just a second so you can really get a good close-up of what my brush is doing. So, let's zoom in really far, okay. And let's put a, let's put one right there. That's pretty pink, but that's okay. We can go over it with another layer of white if we want. Let's put another one right next to it. Okay, let's put one up here. And then we can do some... Well, no, I want, I want one right here. Look for where it needs balance. Because trees 
and branches and things, they understand balance. They don't want to be knocked down on the wind. There, see? Now that has more um, differentness to it. It's a very technical word, differentness. Okay. Now we're going to put in some buds, some flowers that have not opened up yet, and they're usually much pinker, at least for cherry blossoms and apple blossoms and things like that. So I'm going in with a rather dark pink, hardly any white at all. I do want some unmixed on my brush. That is the trick to this, is to have unmixed paint, or very few mixed, very, very little of it mixed up. So this is the same motion as the leaves, you've probably noticed. Just little dabs. Little blobs. And they usually come up in clusters like that. Like that that I just did. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some right here. Let's see. And then some over here. I think I need another flower right there. So, you just want to go until you feel like you have enough, and I think I have enough. So I'm going to zoom out again so you can see the whole thing. There we go. And already they look like flowers, but they are sort of amateurish, not really defined the way that you probably want them to be. But wait just a second until we get the centers on. The center I'm going to make with a very light yellow, so mix white and yellow. Make it a pale yellow for the center. And you actually, <clears throat> excuse me, you want a lot on your brush so you can make a dot without disturbing this wet paint. So you pick one that you think looks like it's facing you, or at least facing you enough that you will see a center. And I think that this one right here looks like it's facing sort of like up and at an angle like this. So I'm going to put a center because if that were happening, you would be able to see the center. And then for example, this one right here looks like it's cupped enough, you know, like cupped like this, that you wouldn't see the, the center because this petal is covering it. So I won't, I won't put a center in that one, but this one, you can see the center. It's really all in your mind's eye, and you will probably find enough that you can pick out ones that you uh, put the center in that really shouldn't have had the center, and you'll learn from that. That's all right. And there. That's uh, it for the flowers, but we need a few more leaves. So I'm going to make a really nice light green. I don't know if you can hear that, but I, I left my headphones on. Because I was listening to music before I turned the camera on. Anyway, we need a few more leaves, so I'm going to just put some on top of the flowers. I think that I need a little bit darker green because that's not showing up very well. And varying your color like this is really what makes it all happen. And notice I am not making everything connect to a branch. Your mind will do that for you. You really don't have to worry about that at all. Okay, and then that's it. That's your cherry blossom branch. Don't forget to sign it and uh, varnish it if you feel it needs it. And you, that's your piece of artwork right there. So I hope that this was helpful and that it wasn't too confusing and that I covered everything that you wanted me to. So um, I guess that in my next video for flowers, I'm going to do maybe watercolor or an acrylic iris. I'm not sure what's going to happen. So um, let me know what you think and what you want me to do. So uh, thanks for watching.